Okay, another question that should be pretty simple given all we have learned. Uh, first, remember to convert grams to kg, and then simply apply all this to uh, the, the same momentum formulas you've been using, where in this case we got to uh, first use that as a zero this is for the second brick, uh, since it's again resting. So we know that its velocity here is zero, and thus don't need to worry about its mass at that point. And uh, let's see here. So it's asking about the speed after the collision. So what we're looking for here is the final a value, which I'm going to write as v a prime. And the mass of the brick is 5.25, so I'm going to take that there and finish off writing this whole formula. So we can see here. Uh, remember, I took I got this from the velocity at which it moves back. Um, now, if you're looking for the actual velocity, technically, this velocity here is going to be negative, because since the ball's bouncing back, its direction has been reversed. So you can put, uh, say, this term is going to be a negative as such, but in this case you don't need to, because it, uh, the question is actually asking for the ball's speed, and thus the direction is unimportant here, and you're only looking for the magnitude. So, solving for this, uh, since you only have one unknown variable, you can pretty easily solve this to get VA prime is equal to 12.1 meters per second. Or, if, again, if you're, if you're actually concerned with finding velocity, then you need to put a negative there. Or at least write a little note after the magnitude, specifying that it's the opposite. But that should be our answer for this part. Um, I think the textbook actually does have this written as positive. Let me check. Yeah, it does. So, yeah, you're just only answering for speed here. This is all you need. But then for part B, you want the total kinetic energy before and after the collision. So let's look for uh, the kinetic energy before. So uh, kinetic energy is pretty simple to find. We've done it 100 times by now. We know that Ke is equal to... Uh, one half m squ mv squared. Uh, I don't mind, sorry if my head writing there is a little sloppy, but uh, I've done this a million times. You know what this is by now. So we're just simply going to plug these values in. So it's going to be one half times the mass, which in this case is 1.44 kg, times our velocity squared, so 28.0 squared which is going to be equal to 56.4 joules. I'm going to write that up here. Uh, sorry. 56.4 J. Now to find the velocity afterwards, we're just simply going to find the sum of these variable uh, values right here. So in this case, it's going to be one half of one four. The mass obviously hasn't changed. Times our velocity for a, which has become twelve point one, uh, squaring that, plus the kinetic energy of the other object. Uh, so the five, the brick specifically in this context. So the five point two five um, times. Our final velocity of 1.10 squared, and adding this together should get you the after kinetic energy of 13.7, which, uh, of course, this would have to mean that this is an inelastic collision, because we can see the, kinetic, uh, the total amount of kinetic energies have changed. But uh, there you go. That would be our, that's our full answer to the question.